friends, friends, people who are okay with me. Hello, John. Hi. I've been watching your show for some time now. Ooh, you have? Yes, and I have to be honest with you, I really, really like it. You do? Yes, in fact, I like it so much that I think you deserve to join me and do the show here from now on. You, you, wa you want me to do On the Spot in heaven? Heaven? Who said anything about heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Collins once stared at himself in the mirror for three hours straight while simultaneously making seductive kissy faces to himself the entire time. Mr. Kremke has unironically used a hoverboard 967 times instead of walking. Please welcome my first team, Max Kremke and Trevor Collins. Miss Dunkelman was once caught eating three dozen maple donuts on a Sunday while watching a six-hour marathon of hoarders. Mr. Diaz has wrongfully teabagged over 7,000 opponents in various first-person shooter games and has never, ever apologized. Please welcome Barbara Dunkelman and Alfredo Diaz. I'm your host, John Reisinger. Welcome to hell. Hello, Hi. welcome to On the Spot, Roosty's official game show that's been damned for all eternity. Thank God. Um, it Ugh. finally happened. We, uh, we made too many jokes, we said too many no-no words, and they couldn't cancel us, so instead they just sent us to Hades. It seemed the easiest route. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this season of On the Spot, we will be doing the entire show in hell. And it's just going to be a lot of fun. How is that different from any other season of yeah. On the Spot? <laughs> That's why it seemed like the most natural transition. It just really wasn't going to be that much different. Um, it's just a color scheme, really, at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm noticing some sort of uh, color trend over here on the right. We're, yeah. Well, we're not doing this. We're not. It was accidental. <laughs> I just kind of. Uh, I just kind of. Came I just want to. Your outfit was accidental. Oh, every day, John. I just wake up like this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and give a once uh, over audience. Ah, uh, hi. <laughs> um, why don't we take it? I feel to you're the... gonna sell me soap or something. <laughs> oh, it's it's just ivory soap. It's the whitest soap, and it gives you rashes when you use it. What? Um, okay, so I don't so tell you that when I sell it. The way that the show goes is uh, a little bit different than how it did in previous seasons. Um, no one wins at all. <laughs> Instead, everyone loses, and we decide who loses the most by taking away points the entire show. Okay. Also, you all have individual scores now, so I'll be judging you all individually, the way I should have been doing it this entire time we've been doing the show. Just like in real life. Just there, like in there real is life. There's a show, it is called The Biggest Loser, John. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already been worked out. So that's how that's gonna work. Um, we're gonna play the games as usual, but the games all have new rules that we've twisted them a little bit, um, given them a little bit of a hellish bump to them. Did you chop and screw it? I don't get what that's referencing, but I'm going to minus 20 points for that <laughs> stupid good. joke. Yeah, good. Um, good. And the point at the end of the, the, of the show is to have uh, the least negative points. So I actually still have the most points. So right now you're losing. Um, just FYI. It um, is. I don't care. Very good still point. in the zero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then with everything else is kind of normal. We'll, we'll add some new things as we go along, and I'll, I'll bring them up. But first, we got a few hours of business. One is this episode is brought to you by Quip Movement. And MeUndies, thank you so much. Um, sorry we took your products to hell. Uh, <laughs> team names. What you guys got over here? We're a very special partnership. A very, I would imagine. A very special partnership. You know, John, um, this is my second coming, and it took me, my, my holy refractory <laughs> period was about 2,000 years later than I anticipated. Are so you? I'm Millennial Jesus. <laughs> and this is my very good boy. I'm a very good boy. <laughs> I'm a very good and, boy. Uh, obviously, that leaves us with the team name, if you move the part the flames. Jesus, Jesus and, and the, the good, good boy. boy. <laughs> so, you've read the good book, and here's the good boy. <laughs> guess who, guess who, who my mom is? The good wife. Guess who my dad is? <laughs> Myself. 
and my girlfriend doesn't even believe in me. Uh, oh no. <laughs> so her people killed you. Um, so Jesus and the Good Boy, that's mm-hmm. a good team name. It's also just a good boy band name that I really want it to really see is. happen at some point. John, I wanted to give you a little gift here because uh, I am so late in my second coming. Would you like to see a miracle, John? I would love to see a miracle. I would love to perform a miracle for you now, John. Okay, I'm really Let's worried. See if I can, pu- if I can conjure up a miracle here. Are you serious? What the <laughs> Are you coming? There it is. <laughs> the show's been renewed for another season, John. It is a miracle. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you so much. It's been renewed. Thank you, thank you. It's already happened. Um, new rule. rule. You did, you did Only a real, miracle can make that happen. You Good did boy. feel great, Jesus. You did feel great. Millennial <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I love you. Uh, <laughs> new rule to the show. Cass is not allowed to talk to the crew before the show. <laughs> <laughs> I do the bits here, not them. Um... Okay, so, Jesus is a good boy. Go ahead and get that trending and see how the world reacts to that. It's a new sitcom from CBS. <laughs> it does sound. <laughs> premiering after Young Sheldon. Uh, what do you guys got over here? We, we didn't prepare nearly as much. Okay, as I, we, I've noticed. Honestly, we just wound up in hell. We actually yeah. got these fake teeth from the same set that you got those horns from. And then my teeth, are okay, not around. There you go. So what's your team name? <laughs> well, it's funny you should ask, John, <clears throat> because... Did you just fart, or was that your that chair? That was my chair. <laughs> I was a little bit of both. real bit proud of you. There's right no there farting in hell. That's true. <laughs> Only it's heaven. Dangerous. It's dangerous. true. <laughs> Ignite something. Roll the place up. <laughs> I was going to say that I've, I, too, have prepared something. Nope, you didn't, talk to, the, you didn't talk to them. <laughs> Definitely didn't. I just wanted to see if they could think on their feet. No, no Jew miracles. No, well, we have a very special team. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we, uh, we, are, we got sent to hell as ourselves, unfortunately, and uh, the team name is... Barbecue Sauce. <laughs> oh. Good team name and good ship name if, we, if you guys didn't have one yet. I think that's pretty good. We actually got that from uh, Twitter. From a cold, cold cloak. Yep, cold, cold cloak. Yeah, you cold, cold, cold cloak. Because it's the year of the community. We're still doing good, even though we're in hell. Yeah, mm-hmm. we brought the, we brought the community with us to hell. We do have an audience in hell, so they're they're here. Come on down. We dragged oh. them to hell. Oh. It's like that film, Drag Me to Hell, where the woman dies at the end. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus, you really spoiled that one. <laughs> Shut up, good boy. <laughs> what is this character? He's such a good boy. Oh, she's I love, I love my millennial Jesus. <laughs> we have one more uh, little new thing that we're going to play during really the show. I really hope that stops. Uh, <laughs> we, have a new, we have a new game that's going to be played throughout the whole episode. Uh, the game is called Satan's Super Secret Swear. Oh, I forgot. Um, and the way this game goes is that we love naughty words here in hell, and we want to reward you for coming up with some good naughty words. So we've picked one for each episode. <laughs> coming. Um, it's going to start at the first game, <laughs> and at the first person who's able to use the right swear word, uh, we will have an audio cue to let you know that you have got it, and um, I will uh, reward points for saying uh, Satan's little favorite swear word for the day. Um, so look for that. Um, we've also let the audience know what the swear word is, so um, get creative. Um, don't, don't, don't get stuck in a corner on those good old cuss cusses. Um, that's what the good what? boys call them. They call them cuss cuss. cuss, cuss. I call them a cuss cuss. <laughs> and I avoid them at all costs. Papa <laughs> won't let me cuss cuss. Um, oh, wait. I'm one last rules. change to the show. Uh, because we're in hell, there's no redemption challenge because no one gets redeemed in hell. Instead, I just have a nice little list of tortures that oh, I've no. come up with for each uh, episode that I can just pull out any time and uh, torture you guys, but rewards will go along with it if you if you entertain me with these it's, tortures. It's appropriate that it's on the diddle Oh, part, those are the tortures? Yeah, uh, the tortures. I was finna just get um, up and grab one of those. Yeah. I also have a list of sins you've all committed, and I'm sure that'll come Ooh. into play at some point. Um, Joke's on you, John, we love punishment. All right. <laughs> it says here, Alfredo, you worked illegally as a child tattoo artist. I plead the fifth. <laughs> All right. Who figured that one out? They had to be following a my, five-year-old around. He probably would have given the children. a better tattoo than this one. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have initialed it. Well, minus five points for giving children tattoos, okay? So that's, mm. that's not okay. Um, but let's play a game. You got uh, three M's just right there. Let's play our first game, which is F you. Oh! oh. So like F you uh, <laughs> works uh, very similar to how we how played tattoo? up in the, uh, <laughs> the non-hell world. It sounds like you put the theme song through a garbage disposal. <laughs> <laughs> you just went, 
<laughs> uh, okay, so the way the, the game works is the same as usual. We're going to give you guys the beginning of a story prompt. You guys are going to uh, craft the story from that, uh, coming up with starts uh, of dialogue that go with fortune. Unfortunately, the way the new game goes is everyone plays every round, and so whoever's team that their round is going on is the fortunately team, and the other team is unfortunately. So you guys are a little battling with some dissonance on this story against each other. I like that so, word. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yes. <laughs> I don't like this voice. Nobody <laughs> does. <laughs> hey, Max, I like it. I want, I want you to try that voice the next time in the bedroom and see how that rolls. Oh, through. geez, that's, that's girl going great. <laughs> <laughs> that's going great. Are you watching? <laughs> that looks good over there. A lady never tells. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going to come. <laughs> a, a good boy never tells. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what's our starting uh, story for uh, Jesus and the Good Boy? Maybe my new favorite team name ever. <laughs> Best friends forever, Trevor and Alfredo have been given the promise of eternal riches and youth by the devil. All he asks for payment is that one of them kill the other. <laughs> so, uh, starting off with Fortunately, and we'll go over to Fortunately with you guys. I'd like Trevor to start us off on your team, and Barbara, you can start us off on, on your team. Um, put time on the clock. Ready, set, go. Fortunately, in this scenario, Satan is considered uh, one of the others in the party of three, so I want to kill him. Uh, unfortunately, the devil is, uh, unkillable because he's made out of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact, so he cannot be murdered. It's true. I've seen it. Fortunately, Alfredo died 35 years ago, <laughs> and we've never actually touched him. <laughs> Unfortunately, Alfredo likes being touched, so he cloned himself for this exact purpose. <laughs> Fortunately, I left my pocket Alfredo back at the uh, the uh, my house. That's where I leave. <laughs> I left Horrible. him back home, yeah. so he, he's safe. Unfortunately, because he's safe, Trevor is the only one left, which means he's uh, ultimately the one who is going to be dying in this situation. <laughs> Fortunately, Trevor is actually a cat. And he has nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm actually a cat. <laughs> the camera didn't show that, but Alfredo had nothing to counteract the cat. I did not see that pussy coming. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. Neither did you that. really <laughs> turned it. Ah! Really hit a pussy out of left field. Yeah. Um, that, was, that was fantastic, and I appreciate that. Let's see how well you guys can do crafting your story and go and see what Barbecue Sauce's uh, story is going to be. Awesome. Earth is gone, and mankind's last hope and favorite couple, mm. Barbara and Max, okay. are hurtling through space in a shuttle that has just lost all power. Uh, Alfredo, you're going to start us off with Fortunately, and Max will be our Unfortunately. Let's put time on the clock. Ready, set, go. Fortunately, Barbara and Max were superheroes, so space didn't scare them at all. Unfortunately, they still needed to breathe oxygen. Fortunately, the spaceship was hurtling in the direct line of another planet that was full of uh, a different life form. Unfortunately, that life form uh, fed only on superheroes, <laughs> and they're starving. So, fortunately, uh, they all starved to death, so it's just bones <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> unfortunately, Barbara and Max were really lonely, and they wanted somebody else to talk to. Fortunately, there were uh, computers aboard the space shuttle that were powered without electricity, <laughs> where people could uh, talk on MySpace with their friends. Unfortunately, these computers were powered by one person, so only one person could use the computer, thus enter a huge argument for who gets to use the man-powered <laughs> powered machines. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going. I'll be honest. <laughs> Good save there with the machine that doesn't use electricity. Yeah. Well, I was just like, shit, the shuttle lost power. How do I save this? <laughs> the whole story almost Listen, fell through. In this world, anything can exist. Um, it runs on Derisel. In hell, anything's Wait. possible. <laughs> Ow! That hurt where my appendix used to be. Um, that actually, you real. inspire me right now to bring up one of my tortures. Um, uh, and I want Max to do one of my torches. It's a simple little one. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, it's not that bad. Um, I'd like you to, uh, it's now, now that you're in hell, I need you to look straight into the camera and renounce your love for something that you truly do love. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I renounce my love and I now hate 
all Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> all of it. And I don't care about the plot, and I will never look it up again. Max, I won't no. spend hours trying to figure out what in the fuck any of it's about. <laughs> Max, no. Not the Keyblade! Oh. Max. <laughs> You heard her kingdom heart! You know what? For doing oh such God. a good job at that, and you really sold it, minus 50 points from Barb. Oh! <laughs> you just got what? stabbed in the kingdom heart. My kingdom heart! Um, <laughs> I'd say the same team, but on top of that, judge. Uh, you both did a very good job on your story, so minus uh, 10 more points from each of you. From your Bless up! up! Oh! So, fantastic, good job on FU. That's we the great the Dougie Dougie Bizzle! Uh -huh. um, hey, John! You're looking pretty horny over there. <laughs> what? I don't know what outcome you think is going to come from this interaction. Points, John. Point. Minus five points from Barb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what your exit strategy is. I thought it would, would be a compliment. Um, you look horny. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know. I'm quite active. <laughs> That's that common compliment we give to each other. You know. Yes, I know what you're referencing. <laughs> Wait, John, you don't go around the office telling people you look horny <laughs> all the time. Honestly, no, he just goes around telling people that, that is how tired. I greet every one of my employees every single day. <laughs> you look horny. Yeah. Mm. And when they say it back to you and you look oh, horny, you look horny as well. with you or something honestly, like that. Uh, <laughs> honestly, missed those horns. <laughs> Didn't know they were there. <laughs> Had no difference to me. Um, minus five points for being oblivious. God damn it. Uh, let's read a little I'm something omniscient, before John. we find out what points are. Uh, something you do every morning is one of the most healthiest things you can do for your body. We're still all about health here in hell. Talking about brushing your teeth, but is your toothbrush helping or hurting your smile? Uh, Quip wants to help you brush better. What makes Quip so different? I'm glad you asked that, teleprompter. For starters, Quip is an electric toothbrush that's a fraction of the cost of bulkier brushes. While still packing just the right amount of vibrations to help clean your teeth, Quip's built-in timer helps you clean for the dentist's recommended two minutes with guiding pulses that remind you when to switch sides, and it looks good on your bathroom sink and easy to travel with. I use a Quip, I especially love the thing that tells me how long I should brush, because I don't know how long I should brush, and it like, it buzzes, it goes, you've done that side, go to another side. It's pretty good for idiots like me. Keep your smile looking good and stay healthy without having to think about your toothbrush again. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash on the spot right now, you get your first refill pack free with the Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip.com slash on the spot, spell G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash on the spot. Thank you, Quip. Quick, go uh, get it quiply. I always brush my teeth. That's why me and Jesus are such good friends. All right, I'm going to have to put a little room between us and keep, wow. and keep How, looking at hey, me. Hey, get your cock out of his ass. <laughs> Yeah, get your cock out of my ass. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? Um, okay. <laughs> so, what are points at the end of all that? Oh. Shit. Oh, I'm Barbara. Doing good. I'm feeling good, John. You know what that? You no, know, I'm feeling so good. I could perform another miracle, John. The bullshit. <laughs> I'd like to perform another miracle for us all now. You do it. Would you like to see him? Don't miracle, do it, John? Jesus. Yes. Do it, Jesus. For this miracle. Is this where I go to hell? <laughs> I will turn water into a wine. That wasn't very good. <laughs> I hated that wine. Water. That miracle didn't even get an applause. It was a bad miracle. Great job, Listen, Jesus. No, it's a good, good Great boy, job, Jesus. I got to perform my miracles just to get them off. You know, I'm just trying to check boxes here, John. I'm millennial Jesus. I'm just, I'm just here so I can go back to resting. When do you make, He's like... He's the Uber of Jesus. Yeah, where's the mm -hmm. avocado toast come from, like, a bunch of... One avocado toast. I don't know. You know, the Jews wandered the desert for 40 years. No one cared. <laughs> um, uh, so let's go move on to our second game, which is quick thinking. Ah. Quick thinking. Just, I forgot about that noise being there. Uh, <laughs> quick That's thinking is uh, the game know. where you guys are going to be coming up with answers for a category, and we're going to go back and forth. Hot potato style. It's going to work the same way as usual, except that we're nice here in hell. And so I'm going to roll the dice, and whoever's number this rolls on, you don't have to do the letter. You can use, you can say whatever you want for the answer. Uh, however, we do like to fuck you over a little bit in hell. So I'm going to roll the dice again, and whoever's turn that is, uh, you have to give an answer equal to that many uh, words on the dice. Um, Solid. What? Yeah. Who made that, that noise? Up top. That was good. Did you Up make that top. noise? Yep. That sounded like death. Um, We're in hell, man! So, uh, 
<laughs> you, you excited? Yeah. No. Um, let's find out what our first category is. Disturbing toys found in Happy Meals for adults. <laughs> right. uh, uh, one, two, three, four, ending with Barb. Barb is the one who doesn't use the letter this round. Fuck. Give me that dog. I mean, yeah. Barb, had only one word. Okay. Oh. One word's not so bad. That's not so bad. Um, it could be anything for one word. One word. Just one. It says here, one as toy. one of your sins, Barb, you break into museums for fun. It's true. <laughs> you, you do that? Yeah, no. She cleans the place. <laughs> who the fuck wrote that? <laughs> That's true. I don't even go, I don't even pay to go to museums for fun. Oh, you don't pay and then you just break in without paying. Yeah, I've seen the footage. She that cleans that up the place. It's weird. Yeah. She cleans it up. She cleans it up. Listen, sometimes I just feel like looking at the Mona Lisa, okay? Minus five points. God <laughs> <laughs> Let's start off with uh, Trevor on this one. Starting with what letter? What the hell was the thing? Disturbing C. toys. Uh, yeah, so Jesus, start us off with letter C. Disturbing toys found in Happy Meals. Ready, set, go. Chlamydia. What? <laughs> yeah, I'll give points, Alfredo. Cunt cakes. <laughs> yes, that's interesting. Max. Cockroach cookies. <laughs> that's not really a toy, that's a tree. Made out of point. plastic. No. <laughs> Disturbing. Barb. What? Vibrators. Yes, points, Trevor. Uh, D. Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that ah! What does that mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, <laughs> minus 20 points to Trevor. Uh, <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> Dildo for, dildos for children. <laughs> no, she already did vibrators. No. Uh, Max. Daddy smell generators. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Points. Barb. Debt. <laughs> That's disturbing. Yes. New letter. S. Sack of vomit. <laughs> yes, Alfredo. Splinters for adults. <laughs> for adults are huge. Yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything. Good job, good job, good job. Sex coupons. Sex coupons. Mm -hmm. For a good boy. Right. Oh yeah, would well, it be disturbing? That you would be said, exciting. If you be said the D man. word. Huh? Naughty, naughty boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me do it with my teeth in. You can't. Do it. Do it. <laughs> hey, Bobby, what's your favorite letter? B. Oh, damn. So you're going to go S. Um, okay, so good job on finding the super, super something. Um, super, super. Now we all can say dicks as much as we want with no repercussions. Dicks, Everyone together. Dicks, 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 You know, John, right now, they are doing the chair massages, and they were like, please keep it down stage five. And you're playing the guitar? Dicks, 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 Okay. I like how Alfredo plays the guitar. Are you coming? Oh, John. Oh, he's coming, of course. I was on the spot on that one. Minus five points for puns in hell. Let's go to our second category. What's our second category? Nightmarish movie franchise crossover ideas. I only have one word. Well, I'll do it again for this one. So this will now be one, two, three, four, ending in barb. Barb again. What? Two. Oh. <laughs> so have fun with that. Uh, so uh, we'll start off with uh, Alfredo on this one. Um, what letter is our starting letter? J. Okay. J, oh movie God. franchise crossover ideas that are terrible. Ready, set, go. Uh, the Justice League Human Centipede. <laughs> <laughs> yes, major points for that one, Trevor. Jaws in the Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Barb. Uh, notebook X Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it, I'll allow it. Max. Uh, Jurassic Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, A, Alfredo. Uh, Avengers shit versus my Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want that. Yes, points, Trevor. Aliens in the outfield. Or <laughs> baseball. <laughs> yes, so good. Barb. Notebook X Thor. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Max, A. Um, uh... <laughs> 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 Animal 
table party. I yeah, I know. yeah. I'm sorry. I couldn't think of anything else with aliens, with aliens and Avengers. Yeah, as soon as he said Avengers, I went. Ugh. Anaconda, Ant Man, ants. Oh right! Or, or oh, just enjoy oh, the yeah. show now. Yeah. Did it bring it back now that we're in hell? Yeah, enjoy the show. Comes back <laughs> in hell. And by itself. That's where it's been this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Over. Yeah. Oh, what about? Um, okay, so. Ants in a bug's life. Mm-hmm. Uh, ants yeah. via bugs. Via bug's life. The same uh, twice. It's bug's life. I feel like we haven't done enough of these uh, tortures. Oh, no. So I have the easy ones. Um, I got trivia. You get it? I'll I'll I'll, I'll award points. Uh, Alfredo. Shit. <laughs> what character do I play? Does do I play John as uh, in Mario Kart? Uh, you play Dry Bones. No, I do not play Dry Bones. I play Shy Guy. Shy Guy. So minus twenty points. <laughs> uh, Trevor. Uh huh. How tall am I? Can I get you to stand up, John? Nope. <laughs> You're five nine, John. Nope. Minus twenty points. This is fun. How tall are you, John? <laughs> You're five ten. Uh, okay. Barbara. Yes. What's my favorite dessert? Trick question, you don't like dessert because you're eating healthy. Minus 20 points. <laughs> a carrot cake. No, it's not a carrot Cheese cake. Cheesecake? Chocolate chip cookie dough. A vegetable cake. loaf. Okay. Max, last question. Mm -hmm. What shampoo do I use? I'll allow just the type. Like, what brand or what? There's a special kind of shampoo. Uh, There's an ingredient that I use. Ooh, is it argan oil? No, minus 20 points. Well, you points. probably should. <laughs> L'Oreal for should. kids, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's the one where they're like, oh, Johnson's oh. L'Oreal for kids? Uh, that? Oh, that's herbal. I was going to say herbal Dove's Men Pro Health. No, it's shea butter. <laughs> shea butter? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to use that on your body? It is. You your body. Oh, it's, all like it's a very good moisturizer in, like, in uh, shampoo and conditioner, so yes. Um, so that's that? fun. Uh, let's read a little more something before we move on to our last game. You know what time it is. Yep, it's time to talk about this great looking watch. Segways. You guys have heard me talk about moving before. The watch company started by the two college students. This company has grown like crazy, and now with almost two million watches sold in 160 plus countries, they continue to revolutionize fashion on the belief that style shouldn't break the bank. If you haven't checked the site lately, you definitely should because they've doubled the number of watch styles, and they're still expanding. In the past year, they've not only introduced all these new, uh, those new watch styles, they've also come out with sunglasses and fashion forward bracelets for her. Um, I have a pair of sunglasses as well. I have multiple moving watches. You get compliments on everything from movement I ever get. Highly recommend them as a fashion choice. Um, I'm wearing one right now. It's wonderful. Uh, movement watches start at just $95. Um, at a department store, you're looking at $400 to $500. Uh, get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash on the spot. See why movement keeps growing and check out their expanding collection. Go to movement.com slash on the spot. Join the movement. Um, okay, so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? Yes. Why do you have hot Cheetos? We got one more game. I got enough hot Cheetos for everybody. I'm just going to do that. Um, as a little torture, in the next game we play, um, you guys have to finish each a bag of che hot Cheetos during your round. I'm on a diet. I'm also not hungry, John. Too bad. <laughs> you know what, John? <laughs> While we wind up for this one, I got another miracle in my pocket. No, you don't. <laughs> Would you like to see this Do one? Do it! Would you like, it, it's, it's gonna, um, it's Give not it to as me, lackluster as the other ones were. Okay, it's gonna require some energy. What energy? Miracle energy, Jim. Okay, sorry, I didn't know that. Look it up. God. All right, perform your All stupid right. miracle. Yeah, Jesus, do it! Okay. <laughs> the, the voice went away for For this while. miracle, I will have to take the spot. What? I don't like it. Jesus Christ. Oh, I will walk on water. <laughs> oh, it's done, John. Holy shit! It's done and my socks are wet. Your socks are wet. He did it! He really did it! All I right. told Whoops. you! I God. told you Jesus could Damn. do it! Why are you turning into a little newsy now? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're not gonna take our pace! Hey. Got your papes. I got your papes. <laughs> all right, if this whole show is constructed to make me join Christianity, I'll do it. I'll convert, all right? Minus 20 points for joining <laughs> Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch a break. It's all going according to plan. Um, all right, you better this, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, good boy. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's go to our third and final game. 
When can we start? Uh, oh, can we find out what points are at the end of all that? Is that possible? I'd love to, to see how bad everybody's doing. It makes me happy it's to not see bad. all the negatives. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus, Barb. <laughs> I can't see it because the fucking jib shot is blocking it. Because You got track. 103, uh, and it's 49, 42 on this side, and Alfredo's at negative 44. John, we're in hell, and you're getting a little sweaty. I brought a little holy towel. Am I getting a little sweaty? <laughs> The Antichrist. Don't do it. There's chloroform on there. It's actually sizzling <laughs> against his Antichrist skin. I can. Uh, there you go. Oh, you made me hit. Uh, okay, so. Do I have it now. Third and yes. final game, which is ABCs of storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just smell my moistness? No. Nope. She doesn't know where I keep that. Um, I know exactly where. You can't be anywhere she hasn't been yet. So. Uh, <laughs> ABC Storytelling works the same way as usual. You guys are going to act out a scene, use the alphabet to come up with your lines of dialogue with. The twist is that whenever I ring the bell, you have to change the direction that you're going through the alphabet. So if you're going down A, B, C, D, E, F, and I ring the bell, you go back up E, D, Z, e, D C, B, A, Z, Y, X, W, that kind of thing. You can skip X and Z as usual, but you get bonus points if you use them. Um, we'll start off with uh, the barbecue sauce over here and see what their scenario is going to be. So in hell we have snacks on on the spot? Yeah. That's not I too like bad. It. Not too bad. I'm uh, bad down people here love eating on podcasts. Love What's barbecue food. sauce's prompt? Barbara and Alfredo, jealous of Tyler Durden's success, have decided to create their own rival fight club. However, since the original one has rules, they have to come up with rules too, and they aren't very good. Um, what's their starting letter? L. Take the space. Um, we'll start off with Alfredo on this one. Coming up with your first meeting, first rules. Ready, set, go. Listen, first rule fight club, we tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man, I like that, I like that. Just spread the news all over. Okay. No. Nope. <clears throat> Back to <laughs> hell. Listen up again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure we post it everywhere. Social media, MySpace, Zanga, Friendsta. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just saying, we hit every social media platform. I think that's a great idea. And then we could go out on the streets with flyers and say, hey, man, Fight Club, want to join? Want to join? Tip. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, so here... <laughs> I'm thinking that instead of fighting, we could like braid each other's hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> a fun game to play at home is count how many times Alfredo's brain broke during that game. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's also because the other game we played, the, the retcon one. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, oh, now I have to change it. No, oh, just go back. And yeah. um, I was finding so, the letter that was the difficulty there. <laughs> so good job on that one. Um, what is it, what's a, we, we celebrate the last game with you guys with shots. Shot, 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 shot. I'll even do a shot with Everybody. you guys. Those will, go, those will go great with our flaming hot Cheetos. Oh. <laughs> hey, us three, just three, my three boys. Jesus, the good boy, and Satan. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Can we not get shots? Yeah, what happened? Uh, what? These are rewards for good boys. Go for it, right Jesus's. there. Hand that, hand that down. Oh, I can't. The way that you're saying it makes it sound like this isn't what's in there. Why care. would that ever be the case? Did it, did it, wait, hold on. Did it crack when it opened? You should have paid attention. It did. Hey, cheers. Is this bleach? Is this, did you inject this with some sort of- Cheers. 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 Okay. cheers. It's Fuck. got John's DNA. <laughs> no, a little piece of John's inside you. Is that a virgin fireball? No, it's a real fireball. It's just alcohol. We're not all bad here down in hell. Just letting you know. I don't yeah, like hell how nice Hell doesn't have alcohol. Being. It all burns off. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, you're giving us snacks and you're getting us all drunk. The I don't get it. <laughs> You're the coolest dad Shut ever. Shut up, good boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go over to uh, Jesus Good Boy and see what their, their story is going to be, what their prompt is. Trevor, a demonic real estate agent, is escorting potential buyer Max through Dante's 10th circle of hell, helping him pick his plot of land for all of eternity. Um, what's their starting letter? A, enter the space. Are enter wearing, the spot, John. Are you wearing two different socks, Max? Yes. Minus 10 points. I'm white trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can't see it. But you took shoes off so we can see it. <laughs> so, so it exclusively matters by your own rules. Stop dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fresh. 
Um, starting off with uh, our little real estate agent here, Trevor. Uh, Ready, I'm set. I'm gonna still be the boy. Go. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we have a lovely assortment of houses here in this tenth circle of hell. Boy, oh boy, I really enjoy it here. <laughs> can, can't you just really predict your future here in the, the deepest levels of hell? Satan's right over there. Dang, sir, it seems like you've got some problems. Are you feeling all right today? Everybody in hell talks like this after a little bit. <laughs> Devil! <laughs> <laughs> Can you see him right over there? <laughs> Boy, oh boy, can I see them over there? <laughs> anyway, back to the houses here. There's a, there's a nice, lovely cave that you can just sit down and enjoy your eternity doing nothing. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> what do you think about them? <laughs> Can't really tell the difference, they're all just caves. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck you, John. <laughs> God damn, letter switching, son of a bitch. I just like having letter switching. Max only talking bees. <laughs> That's true. Boy, uh, oh boy. <laughs> what do you Barely think about on. butts, Trevor? What do I think about butts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what butts are good. Jesus think about what does Jesus mm. think about butts? Yeah, Trevor, what do you think about butts? <laughs> Can you stand up for a second? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alfredo, you want to stand up first? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Alfredo, show me. Alfredo? What am I showing? Your ass. Bus. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh. oh. If I there had, we go. If I had a fart brew and I would have come over and just <laughs> Wait. Is huh? this a... Is this a boy off? <laughs> what is... Oh no. What, is, what does the back of your shirt say, Max? Please. Okay, please. Be gay boys? <laughs> <laughs> This is the content you subscribe to. <laughs> we all know you want it. This is the most awkward porn I've ever watched, okay? This is why porn is supposed to have music, okay? Hey, Rooster Teeth, can you please hire more women? <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> Watching porn on their <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my headphones! Did somebody get all of my sound out? <laughs> they pulled that out for real quick. Um, okay, so uh, we'll uh, minus some points for each letter you guys got through for that round. Um, while they're adding up final points, minus like, points for each letter we got. Would yeah. we add points? Oh, so we're marching down? Yeah, you're marching. Go down. up? I yeah. thought that was a bad thing. Eh, it's just hell. <laughs> hell sucks. <laughs> hey. How confusing. Hey. Hi. Hi. Take a moment to think. About your undies. I know it's a little weird. Always. But your first thought probably isn't, I love these so much. They're awesome. Which is why I want to tell you about me undies. They're comfy, amazing undies that make you feel good from the moment you put them on. And when you feel good, anything is possible. Even if it's just laying around the house or your room, you'll like how you look in your me undies. With me undies, you get your undies sent right to your door. No more hunting around for the perfect pair at a crowded store and eventually setting, settling for something good enough. Um, big fan of me undies. Uh, they're my fancy undies, and I'm super excited whenever I get to them in my drawer. And I wish I, I need to get more and just phase out all those like lesser underwears that I have. Um, hey, if you're still not sure, well, me undies has a deal for on the spot viewers. First time purchasers get 20% off their first pair of me undies and free shipping. That's 20% off plus free shipping. And I guarantee that you and your me undies will be very happy together. To get your 20% off your first pair of free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies.com slash spot. That's meundies.com slash spot. Thank you, me undies. I hate my underwear, and that's why Jesus said he's going to buy me more. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was. The fourth miracle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's find out what final points are at the end of all of that. I don't uh, know. Negative one, twelve, negative one, three, five. Looks like Jesus and the good boy win. Of course we do. You did it, Jesus. You're the best, Jesus. Jesus wins in hell, apparently. 
There's no taking Jesus down. Yeah. There's nothing you can do to stop Jesus over here. <laughs> Wait, we stop going to the newsy voice. It's not a. He's little... doing great. He's delivering the papes. You'll never get the best of us. You're uh, never gonna take us down. You're never gonna keep us. We're going on strikes, I tell you. <laughs> strikes. Strikes all of them. All the strikes. Strike all, all, all of it. That's the end of the show. <laughs> Say thank you to Moving Me Undies and Quip. Thank you to my audience. Thank you to you at home. And thank you to my first guests in hell, Barbara, Alfredo, Max, and Trevor. I've been here all along. Um, have fun in hell. You all are fucked. <laughs> bum, bum, Bye. Bum, bum.